What's up, Ken? What's up, Pete? We back at it again with the Lions Den. Uh, today's topic, I'll say Morgan Freeman because, you know, he done popped up in the media. Eight women done came and accused him of uh, 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 sexual harassment and various other uh, things that I guess they didn't find uh, acceptable. Well, you know, back in the 70s and the early 60s, they had what you had. Uh, Jerry Gahoo had something called Cointel Pro, set up these different surveillances and shit, and they would start, you know, different leadership in the African American community, and eventually they'd find dirt on them and they'd bring them down. You know, that was very clever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was a clever form of institutional racism, it was a clever way, you know, to bring, you know, a certain segment of society down, you know, kind of dismantle or disrupt, you know what I'm saying, a upward mobility. However, you know what I'm saying, I mean, nowadays in the case with Bill Cosby and, you know, Morgan Freeman and a few other, you know, prominent uh, statues in our community, they bringing themselves down. Weinstein or whatever that yeah, yeah. Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Today, you know what I'm saying, he just posted a million dollar bail, you know what I'm saying, for the same case. You know, uh, a lot of these men, you know, their biggest problem is what I always said and pimp stuff holds down is that they're too tender under the zipper. You know what I'm saying? They let their little head beat their big head. You know, they have all this intelligence and this wisdom to make millions and millions of dollars. When it comes to a female, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got the they ain't got the knowledge of a seashell. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know I mean, their brain is smaller than a seashell. So you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we we see this on a continuing and continu- uh, consistent basis. You know what I'm saying? We constantly see these powerful structures falling down. You know what I'm saying? Being crumbled. You know by you know what I'm saying? I mean, the uh, opposite gender. You know what I'm saying? The female gender. And you know, I think that Morgan Freeman. You know. All the rest of them, man, they've been doing something for a long time. They've been getting away with it. I think, you know, with the Me Too, Me Too movement, the women just said, never again. Enough is enough. And, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, are going to start experiencing, you know, exposure. Because I don't think Morgan Freeman and Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein is just the only two that's doing this. I think that a lot of men in position, especially powerful men, have used their position and their power in order to dominate and to, uh, you know, to overpower, you know, these women, you know what I'm saying, who didn't have no power. Now, they use these women sexually to give them jobs. If they had sex with them, they are hire them for jobs. If that didn't work, you know what I'm saying, they are threaten them and tell them, you know, you would never work again in this market. I'm Mr. Hollywood. I'm Mr. Morgan Freeman. I'm Mr. Bill Cosby. And they intimidate these women, and these women would be forced to have sex with them. But I think, you know, with the Me Too movement, a lot of these women are exposed to these freaks and exposed to these pedophiles and, and racists, whatever they call themselves, you know what I'm saying? But what's more said than anything other than them being, you know, who they are is the fact that they, you know, let the community down. You got young men, you know, who, who in Hollywood and who enter into businesses and into other uh, communities. And, uh, you know, believe it or not, you got... You know, white people, you know what I'm saying, especially racist white people, who laughing behind their back. Like, ah, 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 look at Morgan Freeman. You know, he's supposed to be so great, he's such a great actor. Ah, ah, look at Bill Cosby. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know, some, some of them even, you know, laughing at Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. But, you know, as black men, you know, when we get opportunities to make billions and millions of dollars, you know, we have to, we have a certain standard that we got to uphold. We got to be, you know, leaders in our community. We have to be, you know, uh, uh, folklore, you know, we got we, we got we got to be almost Superman in order to make sure that we pass on the baton to the next generation. Don't make it hard. Don't let them put up, you know. Don't let them put up block, blockages and don't let them put up, you know, little, you know, uh, fences and stuff like that to prevent the next generation from getting across the fence or getting across that barrier, you know. Because as long as you know one of them fail, then they cause the whole group to fail because, you know, everybody's looking at the top, the head, and they basically know what they're going to do at the bottom or how the head act. So, you know, all these great leaders, all these great uh, stars and whatever they call it, so they have responsibility. So, you know, what I got to say about Morgan Freeman is I think that he, he made an ass out of himself. I think he let his little head beat his big head. I think he should have thought before he act, you know. I mean, there's so many women. Women out here, why would you harass women when you could just go throw $100,000 or $1,000 at a female? If she probably can do anything you want to do, she give you all night. It's just women out there that's in the streets, you know, that's on the internet. They look way better than some of these actresses. 
You know, some of these women in Hollywood, they would do anything for the money. And right. you ain't never got to worry about the repercussion, but these guys are risk takers. You know, most people who are powerful, they like to take risks. Okay. You know, they, they like to get away with something. You know what I'm saying? If they ain't, if they ain't a challenge, or if they ain't a risk involved, some of them don't, even, they don't feel right. If they have to spend $1,000 and, and, and get what they want, you know, from the female, I don't think that's enough for them. I think they got to actually be overpowering the female. They got to be using their position in order to make that woman feel inferior, in order to feel like, oh, I'm superior over this woman because I'm going to use my uh, stardom, my star power, in order to, you know, commit sex with this woman, have a sexual act, or intercourse. So, you know, that's the problem. And then, you know, in so many ways, that's some type of psychological imbalance. A lot of these guys, man, especially Bill Cosby, man, for him to go around popping pills with females in order to have sex with them, that is some type of psychological imbalance. And for Morgan Freeman, you know, to be Morgan Freeman, to be one of the biggest stars in the world, for him to be sexually harassing women, that's another form of sexual, uh, uh, psychological imbalance. A lot of these guys, man, they probably need a psychiatrist more so than they need a penitentiary because they don't have no earthly reason to be taking the risk that they take on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. What up, P? What up? Cost of living, price of everything, ass and gas. You did. Yeah, really gas. It's all everywhere with that gas. Hey, man, that's that Trumpism. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, Trumpism and that schism. <laughs> it's the public you get paid time. They could have drained the swamp for real, drain the motherfucking swamp for some money. Exactly. But, but today in the Lions Den, we got to cover Roseanne Barr because, you know, she's been been all over the, the media and, and news and, and on, on people's lips about the things she done, you know, uttered on Twitter. Well, you know, actually, Rick, you know what I'm saying, to be honest with you, I wasn't appalled at all because, you know what I'm saying, it's been a tradition ever since the early 1600s and 1700s. You know what I mean? European scientists have always, you know, uh, compared African Americans or Africans or enslaved Africans at that time, you know, to apes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they always say that uh, we are apes. Now, the reason why they compared us to apes, the reason why people like Roseanne Barr and other people always say you like an ape or a monkey or something like that is because, for one, monkeys come from the jungle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and at monkeys is primarily in Africa. So it's a symbolism or, 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 or like a name calling, you know, to say that, you know, oh, they're from, they from, they from Africa because they from, uh, you know, they, they look like monkeys. And, you know, monkeys is from Africa. But the real thing about a monkey is that a monkey is subhuman. So in order for a white supremacist or a person who think that they are superior to another human being, they have to label them something less than human. So to call somebody an ape is a, a symbolic way of saying that they're subhuman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what she's trying to say. That's what a lot of them say. That's why, you know, when you be seeing people and they be making these images of Barack Obama looking like a monkey, that's what they're trying to say because they know that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you have to compare a human being, an African-American human being to a European human being, and they compete on an equal level of footing, you know, and the, play, the playing field is equal level. You know what I'm saying? They know that if the black person reigns supreme or rise above the occasion, and therefore, you know what I'm saying, that person, you know what I'm saying, is superior to that person who say that that person was inferior to them. So, you know what I'm saying? It gets complicated. You know, like I was telling this one guy, they did a study, and the study was, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, uh, on discrimination. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and Francis Crest was saying they took four blind girls and four brunette women and they put them in a situation where, you know what I'm saying, they had to be discriminated against for hours. You know, did you know neither one of them was able to last 30 minutes because each one of them felt utterly disrespected. They said, why are you disrespecting them? They said, well, if you can't just take discrimination for these few seconds, imagine what, what black folks go when they take discrimination all the days of their life. You know what I mean? Then, you know, you know, there was another study. It was three white guys and three black guys. All of them graduated from college. They all had the same degree. They had the same qualifications. But the trick was the, the guy who was doing the hiring, you know what I mean, the, man, the managerial dude, he was saying, you know, you guys are like me. You know, you guys are, 
you know, your wife, you know what I'm saying, you know, don't worry about it, you're going to get the job, you know what I'm saying, and then, you know, after they told them that for so many times, and they went and they did the qualifications, it turned out that the black guys were more qualified than the white guys, so what happened was, you know what I'm saying, uh, the white guys was like, you know, we, we, we're we found discrimination, and they said, for found discrimination, why, because we're more qualified, hmm. they said, what makes you more qualified, they said, because we're white, you know what I'm saying, I mean, education, Plus, our white skin give us an advantage. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people want to see white people out front as opposed to black folks. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, then they, they made a reference to a monkey. Same thing that uh, Rose and Barr did. They said, these monkeys is not better than us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's you know, what has been prom promoted scientifically in this society because whenever you take a person from their, their homeland and you put them in a you know, I'm your foreign strange land like America, and you enslaved them for 40 years. You cannot do that morally without creating some type of, you know, situation where you can justify your immorality. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, we are, you know, we, we immoral, but these people are subhuman. They migrate from apes, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they evolved from apes. So this is where the ape thing come from. And then, you know, Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they asked him to comment on it. And what he said was, well, how can the president of uh, ABC, whatever it was, call uh, a, a VJ, which is the lady Valerie Jett, or whatever her name was, you know, and don't call me for all the horrific things that people in your station have said about me. But, you know what I'm saying, you know, what, what, we, didn't, what we don't take into account was that in, uh, in North Carolina, Charlottesville, you know, uh, Donald Trump didn't show up, you know what I'm saying, he called Africa shit whole country. He said he said shit house. And then, you know, we know that uh, he, he was in doing the campaign one time. He said, look at my African. He called Mexican drug dealers as a rapist. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, when you have a racism that high in office, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're naturally going to see it trickle down to other people. And so Roseanne Barr was the one that it triggered, it triggered down and trickled down to. It's going to trickle down even farther. You know what I'm saying? People who are racist out being in power today because of the president of the United States, he don't address anything that got to do with racism. You know what I'm saying? He looks over it every time. So because he looked over it, people, you know, who are racist, they have a, a belief system that because Donald Trump, who is the leader of the free country, is not, con is not you know, condemning it, he must be, you know, uh, 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 agreeing with it. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how... Things is getting so horrific. That's why you see so many celebrities. But thank God that the, 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 the station was like, no. They fired her abruptly and said, we're not having that. Because see, you know, my sons, I grew up in, my sons grew up in the suburbs. You know, I lived in the European community. So a lot of my sons' friends were white, you know what I mean? You know, I didn't grow up with that, but they grew up with that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of white kids used to come to my house. They used to pay with my kids. They used to have sleepovers. And my kids would sleep over at their house all kind of little crazy shit that we would never do in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, it's that generation who is saying no to racism. That generation who said no. Look, Kenny, Kenny Ivey, that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with him. We went to school together. We played together. We skateboarded together. We was in gymnastic class together. I'm not going to call him a nigger. I'm not going to hate him. I'm not going to call him an ape because a 64-year-old lady by the name of Roseanne Barr or a 73-year-old man by the name of Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying, I mean, have a, a racist mentality. So even, you know, if they try, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, a lot of people, man, they have hidden, hidden agendas. They have hidden, hidden feelings, you know what I'm saying? A lot of their feelings is in the closet, right? So now, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, Donald Trump, he allowed these feelings to come out and a lot of people are expressing their feelings. But, you know, that's not, let me, let, me, let me say this, though. That's not going to be the, uh, the the thing that, uh, you know, separate us. It ain't going to be racism. You know what I'm saying? The thing that's going to really separate us is going to be politicians. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's going to be, you know, uh, 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 what they call it, the Republican and Democratic Party. That's what's, that's what's going to separate us because, you know, you know, you look at Crips and Bloods. You know, one went red, the other one went blue. You look at GD. One got the five-point star, one got the six-point star. That's separate. That's the only thing that really separates them. You know what I mean? You know, they got symbolism. You know what I'm saying? So Democrat and Republican, you know what I'm saying? That's what all the white people that are racist, you know what I'm saying? They want to be Republicans. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel, you know, even though, you know what I'm saying, the Republican Party might have some people that are not racist, those people chose to be that way. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, 
That's what it's all about. And, you know, we got to be sharp enough and intelligent enough to recognize what's going on. But, you know, I mean, that's not going to be the, the main thing that, you know, that keep us down. Because one thing that they hate more than anything was that Barack Obama, you know what I'm saying, me, defied anything that they scientists would say. You know what I'm saying? And you notice Donald Trump, everything Barack Obama do, you know what I'm saying? Me, you know, he try to, you know, overturn it. You know, that's 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 the racism that people acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? People think that people don't see that. You know what I'm saying? The only president that you attack, only president that you try to overturn his policy is a black man. So really Donald Trump, he really much he condoning Four, Four seven. seven.